Streams of Live from the OS Bridge Conference. Right now we're joined by Tom Hughes Croucher, who is Shimmer on Twitter. That's right. Where else can we find you on the internet? And it's Shimmer with a one. That's right. S-H-1-M-M-E-R. Uh, I'm all over the internet. Uh, strangely, if you Google for my name or Yahoo for my name, um, you will find me absolutely everywhere. I'm so pervasive because I've been on the internet quite a long time. So it happens when you're on the internet for a long time. Right. Start racking up the top of things. As long as employers don't search my name before they hire me, that's fine. <laughs> They'll find all those drunk photos. <laughs> uh, maybe then that you'll just have more fun employers. Right. I think I actually probably got a job because of the drunk photos. No. My job at Yahoo. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's the capacity that you're at the US Bridge Conference. You're, you're here from Yahoo. That's right. Who's it? Are they sponsoring? Yahoo is sponsoring. Yeah. We're um, a contributor sponsor, so we're really pleased to be here. There's lots of good stuff that's going on. Yahoo loves open source, so it all kind of worked. Very good. And there's some new open source Yahoo stuff going on. Do you mm -hmm. want to just kind of briefly sure. tell us about um, it? So we've been working with um, um, an organization called the Sunlight Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, they're a nonprofit based in Washington, um, and their job is to promote e-government. So um, everybody obviously has a vested interest in, in having a government that runs smoothly, represents their interests. Um, and what the Sunlight Foundation are trying to do is make sure that um, people have their interests met by the government, but the government does it in a way where people can engage with them. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course that means using modern technology, using the internet, um, and they're trying to encourage government to make available data about um, what government does, um, where they spend your tax money, um, and allow you to engage with them um, mm -hmm. in a way that suits you as the, as the electorate. So uh, what we've been doing is we've been trying to help Sunlight using Yahoo's technology um, and some of Yahoo's open source um, uh, products just to, uh, to make that possible. And is it, is it a smooth transition? I mean, government is really something that was founded so long ago that sometimes there's a kind of trouble building into the new time, you know, building up to where you're supposed to be. And they um, have... It's supposed to be, you know, a government of the people for the people, but it, it's so often kept in these little dark rooms and everything's done behind the scenes. Uh, is it transitioning well, do you think? I, mean, I think uh, Barack Obama's definitely put a large emphasis on uh, becoming more transparent, but that, that hasn't really... I mean, things take a long time in government. So, I mean, he can sort of hand down these edicts and say, I really want everybody to become more open and transparent and um, provide, you know, wonderful tools. But, of course, that takes a long time. And he can't force the states individually to do that. So um, the, the major project that we've been working on, um, we actually released a bunch of tools yesterday um, here at OS Bridge, mm -hmm. um, is, is things to look at the, the websites that the state governments have, look at the websites that the federal government have, um, and try and get the data out um, you know, on, on what bills they're passing, who voted for the bills. If, if you've elected um, a congressman, what did your congressman vote on? So you, um, as the person that elected that official can see how they're representing you. And we want to um, use open source tools to extract all that information from the government website. So even though the government isn't necessarily uh, making it easy for us, we can still extract that information. Um, and then it can be used to do mashups and create you know, maps of voting patterns, spending patterns, and kind of make all that information that's really important to you as a, um, um, as a citizen in a democracy mm -hmm. um, so that you can use that and kind of make informed choices. So it's really more of an end user. I mean, it's made for the people who wouldn't otherwise know how to get that information? Um, I think so. I mean, um, certainly from, from our perspective, what we really want to do, I mean, this is a, a conference full of developers. Mm -hmm. We really want to enable the developers to be able to take the data and do interesting with it. We're not going to have all the ideas. We're not going to have all of the creative um, uh, ideas in order to do wonderful things with, those, with, with that data. That's the but, point of open source, though. Right, yeah. but by making it available and it's free and it's open um, and people can use the technology freely and openly, then developers um, that have an interest can just take all of that information and go and make some really wonderful things. Um, and that, that's something that I've seen in the UK, um, where I'm from. There's, um, there's some wonderful websites um, which, which help people do that. Um, the, the part of London where I used to live every time, um, we have members of Parliament in Britain because we're incredibly old fashioned, but um, every time uh, my member of Parliament in the UK um, votes or writes a letter, an official response to anything, mm -hmm. I get an email telling me exactly what they've done. And that helps me know whether they've represented my interests. But the point was that's only possible because the data which um, says what they've done has been made available by somebody. 
and that's that's the hard work that's the problem we're really trying to solve so that other developers can then take that data um, and create really rich helpful applications for democracy and what's the name of that um, the piece that you've created again um, that Yahoo's put out um, so it's, it's available on um, developer.yahoo.com uh, mm-hmm. um, and we're using um, a tool called YQL, the Yahoo Query Language, okay. um, which is an, uh, enabling people to go and access that data easily um, and reuse it in their mashups. Okay, very cool. And it's worth noting that though we've had you on the show yes, you have before had the show at, at Bar Camp, I believe. Uh-huh. That's right. um, you're not from Portland. I'm not from Portland. You're in California? I live in California now. And you also want to talk about cycling and bike mechanics? Yeah. I, I it's a very Portland thing. It's, it's, it's just very a very Portland, Portland thing. thing. So Right. I'm building, <laughs> I'm building a fixie, which is actually very San Francisco as well. A what? A fixie. A fixed gear bike. Okay. Um, so w- one of the things I do in my free time um, is San Francisco has a thing called the Bike Kitchen. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's actually one in LA too. Um, and there are similar things. I think there's a similar thing in Portland. Um, but it's a community space where um, they have tools to do bike mechanics. Okay. Um, like a workshop? A workshop. Um, we've got, um, I think, eight, eight benches um, and then a lot of kind of extra free stands that people can kind of put in our yard. Um, and we volunteer and we go and we, we help people that don't know anything about bikes to fix their bikes, to maintain them. Um, and even people that can't afford a bike can come and they can volunteer at our shop for a while and do some, you know, do some simple tasks. Um, and then we'll teach them how to build a bike from the parts in our stock. And all of this stock is, is donated from the community. So people will bring their old bikes, things that they don't want. Um, and then our volunteers will uh, take the bikes apart, throw away the parts that are broken, um, fix and polish the parts that aren't broken. Um, and then those parts can be used by somebody that can't afford a bike of their own to build one from scratch and learn how their bike works, how to use it, how to maintain it. It's kind of like free geek for bicycles. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's very cool. So, do they have a website? Um, they have a website. Um, it's uh, thebikekitchen.net. Thebikekitchen.net. Mm-hmm. All right. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I think we're good. All right. Thank you so much for coming and seeing us thank again. Thank you. It's good to be here.